The holy grail of artificial intelligence is to be able to point a machine at a big pile of data and have it figure out everything that's going on and all the relationships between all the different elements with no human involvement at all. We're clearly a long way from that. Instead, we use pretty orderly data sets in order to train our artificial intelligences. Computers are pretty good at recognizing handwriting because there's a large corpus of handwritten documents that have been transcribed. Similarly, machines are good at translating from one language to another because there's a lot of documents that have been translated already. The recent advances we've made in being able to identify images is also because recently there's been a data set of labeled images on which artificial intelligence can train. Video, however, presents new challenges, mainly because although there is an armload of video publicly available on YouTube and Facebook and places like that, it's poorly tagged, especially the action that is going on inside of the video. That's something that Google DeepMind is trying to tackle. They took a bunch of video and they put it in Amazon Turk and got people to label 400 different activities that are occurring in those videos, like playing tennis. They're using that to train an artificial intelligence. In a way, this is a really interesting problem because every frame of a video is, in essence, a prediction of a place for a computer to make a prediction about the next frame. And so I think we can expect computers to make a big advance in this, even though it is a seemingly incredibly difficult area in which to train artificial intelligence. If you're interested in artificial intelligence, visit gigaohm.com or check out my new book, The Fourth Age, Smart Robots, Conscious Computers, and the Future of Humanity.